Hi my friends, welcome again. Very important course today about how to detect the short circuits in motherboard with integrated CPU. This is basically an integrated processor connected to the board. It's not like the old processors that we can remove. So this one is integrated and I will show you how to detect shorted CPU circuit even if the processor is not removable. So let's get started. But please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for new videos like this one. And sorry for my voice. And of course, for anyone who wants to join me in my Patreon page and accelerate learning, you are very welcome. All links in the description. So let's get started. So guys, let's select in the multimeter the continuity option. So let's check the coils near the processor and of course the PCH. So if I put the black probe in the ground and for example, check this coil here. Do you see guys low reading about 11? Okay, so let's check this inductor also. 7. Very low. Okay guys, so all inductor around the CPU and the PCH have a low reading. But normally we have to remove the CPU and check again exactly like the old motherboard for example when we check for example this induction we have a very low reading do you see but but if we remove the cpu or just open it like this okay so the cpu is removed if we check again we gonna find a high reading do you see a high reading in the multimeter so once we reconnect the processor again we will get a low reading but this is for all the motherboards as you can see low reading again okay and of course as i teach you before i can even put the red probe here in this inductor so let me Open and close the processor. Do you see? Continuity. If I open the processor like this, you see? Gone. If I close it, as you can see, open, close, open. Okay. So basically, the low reading is not a short circuit, but it's just the processor reading. The same for all other chipsets. But for this kind of motherboard with integrated CPU, I cannot remove the CPU because it is integrated. And of course, I get a low reading here in the coils nearby the CPU, as you can see. So how can I know if these coils, if this is a short or not, without removing the CPU? So in this case, guys, I have to connect the adapter and check the voltage in these coils. Remember, in this coil, we get 11. This one, we get about 6. Okay, very low already. But if I connect the adapter to the board, let's check these two coils. This one. And this one, for example, that belong to CPU circuit. Okay, now we're gonna choose in the multimeter do DC voltage. Let's choose 20 volts. Okay, in the multimeter. So this is good. Then the black probe in the ground everywhere. And let's check the voltage here. So if we have a real short, in the CPU or in the PCH, we should get zero. Let's check. We get 1.04, means good, means we get a voltage. This is basically for VCCP. Okay, guys, VCCP means the voltage need for these buses to communicate for these 
chipsets to be communicated to send data and receive data we need this voltage about 1.04 so it's not a short because we get the right voltage in this inductor basically this is for the cpu we have to get a voltage about 0.7 to 1.2 it could be 0.9 like this let's check we get 0.84 so this is good this is the vccp the vcc core so the voltage for the cpu this is it we get it 0.84 this is good so it's not a short circuit so without removing the cpu this is the method we use is to check the voltage in the inductor with low reading okay in the inductor with low reading and as i told you before guys sorry for my voice so don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this video and by the way guys the same thing for inductor or coil and also for these capacitors here as you can see those capacitors hold the same voltage as you can see here also as you can see same voltage those also over here okay and the same thing for for capacitors if i remove the adapter and the check again using the continuity option so let's select the continuity option in the multimeter again okay so for this capacitors here so if we check it guys these capacitors we will find low reading 004 as you can see this one also here 004 this one also so very low reading but this is good it's not a short but for beginner beginners could be confused okay that's why the only test you want, you have to to use when you have an int integrated processor is to connect the adapter and check the voltage in the inductor and in the capacitors if you find the voltage is good within the interval means there is no short but of course if you deal with motherboard like this old motherboard so very easy of course you will find a low reading in all components around the processor tantalum capacitors as you can see inductors all inductors also serial capacitors as you can see very low reading but for this kind of motherboard no worries why because we can just remove the processor like this or just open it okay and you will find that the low reading is gone you see in all components as you can see the low reading guys is gone as you can see so here we check that there is no short so the reading the low reading is for the processor not a short circuit okay if we check of course you will find all components again are with low reading as you can see all components so this is very normal so guys i hope that you understand this course about how to check if there is a short circuit in motherboards with integrated cpu or not so this is basically the method that because i get, i got a lot of comments from a lot of friends about what about the motherboards the newest motherboard with an integrated cpu how can we detect or how can we know if the short circuit is real or just a fake so this is the method guys by checking the voltage in the electrolytic or in the coils thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe share like the video and for anyone who want to accelerate learning you are very welcome you can join me in my patreon page thank you very much guys and see you in the next video